Hey everybody, Iron Toes here, and today we're going to talk about my new friend, Venom the Duck. Alright, the reason I say Venom the Duck is my new friend is because he has the potential to save you tons of units and glory points uh, on potions and revives in the game. His damage output is excellent, his regeneration is excellent if you get it set up right. Um, there's a little bit of ramp up across several fights to get him to where he needs to be, but uh, I think he's highly on my list for the next R4. So. Um, what does he do? So what you do is, after <clears throat> after his counter, his little symbiote counter gets all the way to 100, uh, he gets a random buff, and he has synergies that can kind of help you lean the buffs towards offense or defense. Um, and there's other synergies to help it be more successful. But basically, you get this buff, it's like regeneration, power gain, fury, one of these things. And then you reel off a special, the special one or special two, and you get to keep that buff in his, his memory bank, if you will. And then you can hold up to three buffs per fight, and then overall you can hold up to ten buffs. And I think there's some synergies that, that allow you to hold even more. But suffice it to say, uh, you get to hold on to these buffs, and every time you use a special three, or every time you start the fight, you get to unleash all those buffs. So if you've got some regeneration buffs in there, you get some sweet regen. Uh, which is great for saving units. And then of course, if you've got some Furies in there and maybe some crits or power gain, you can unleash a lot of damage really fast. So awesome character, I really like him. Let's take a look at a couple of different fights. So I've got two fights to show you here. These are both Alliance quest fights. Um, you'll see that starting out, um, I am at very low health. And now I wish I could say that was because, you know, I specifically, took myself down to low health for the sake of demonstration, but that's not true. I think I really did die and, and had to uh, had to revive him. So here's the deal. I started off with, I've got all my buffs, my 10 buffs maxed out already. I started off with, I think, four regens. And so basically what I'm going to do off the bat here is trying to get another uh, special three off because I want more of that regen in this fight before I kill him. So I'm going to try and bait his special two here. He's easy enough. Come on. There we go. So I should easily, he's got plenty of health left. I can get to my special three and hit it. There we go. Hey, I even got the extra damage on that one. And you know what? You get to use Venom the Duck and you even get a little bit of comedy there. He curses out the other guy. Um, instead of killing him right off the bat, I'm going to let that regen play out as much as I can, which is good because I've got to try and get that special out of him anyway. Here he goes. It's near the end of my regen anyway. I'm just going to go ahead and finish him. Perfect. So you can see I gained half of my health back just then. So that's the equivalent of like two level four alliance potions, which is what, 500 glory points or something like that. Who knows how many units that is. Um, <clears throat> very, very good. And I'm going to go ahead and show you the next fight here. Actually, the very next fight in that very same alliance quest. And this one's noted. So he's got extra health. Nice thing about this is, when they've got extra health, that gives you more time to try to get your special threes off and uh, regenerate even more. So here we go. This is a noted extra health Electra. It also helps that it's kind of an easy fight. So look at here. We start off with the regeneration. I've got Furies in there, crits. Now sometimes, I'd actually, you know, it's kind of random when you get the buffs. I prefer to get regeneration buffs and then a couple power gains and then a couple of Furies. To be honest, I'd rather have more than just the one power gain, but I think the way the cards were dealt, I ended up getting more Furies, so I just took what I got. So you can see I'm already back up to 84% health. She's already almost halfway down. So from all that extra Fury, like I've gained like half of my lost health and she's already almost half dead. Pretty sweet. So I'm gonna get that regeneration in there. Should take me all the way, yep, there we go. Vader special. Just lay on the sauce. Now, from this point, see, I'm already at full health. Once you're at full health with Venom the Duck, Venom the Duck once you're at full health, um, I would recommend trying to use his special two. His special two, very interesting mechanic in this game. Not, there are not a whole lot of things like this out there. His special two actually puts toxic armor on the opponent. Very couple of things about the toxic armor. Number one, you start hitting them and they take extra damage. You can see all the extra. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell with all the red numbers flying around. 
But what's really cool about the toxic armor is uh, people that are debuff immune, it still works on them. Or people that shake debuffs, it still works on them. They don't shake the toxic armor. It's actually a buff on the opponent. It does give them a little bit of armor, but that extra direct damage that comes out of it is absolutely awesome. If you've got some Furies already built up and you've got them currently running on Venom the Duck and you can hit that special two really fast, it's just absolutely devastating. So that's Venom the Duck, a really quick guide. So basically try and get some regens. I would recommend the Furies and the Power Gains and you can just tear through some quests. As a matter of fact, the variant, the second variant, the Ant-Man Yellow Jacket variant quest, Venom the Duck is also extra large as a class and works awesomely. So anyway, that's my new buddy, Glory and Unit Saver, Venom the Duck. Uh, I hope you guys get one and I suggest you level him up because he is very, very good. That's all I have today, guys. I appreciate you watching. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe and tell your friends. Catch you next time. Bye.